First, though, we do want to get you to the breaking news this morning. Lindsay Lohan released just hours ago from jail. She is not, though, a free woman quite yet. That's, of course, because she has to serve out the next part of her sentence. Early show national correspondent Hattie Kaufman joins us this morning from Los Angeles with more. Hattie, good morning. I'm here at UCLA Medical Center where Lindsay Lohan is supposed to spend the next three months in treatment. She was released around 1.30 in the morning and because that's after midnight, she got credit for an extra day served. After serving 14 days of her 90-day sentence, Lindsay Lohan left the Century Regional Detention Facility, released early due to jail overcrowding. She must now spend 90 days at a live-in rehabilitation center. You're doing chores all the time, you're, you're watched all the time, you're drug tested all the time. TMZ reports that Lohan will be treated for bipolar disorder and an addiction to crystal meth. Her attorney denies that, telling Radar Online it's a fabrication 100%. But Lohan Lohan's probation report lists five powerful drugs currently prescribed to the actress, including Adderall, Dilaudid, and Zoloft. Yes, they're absolutely hard to get off of, and they're going to require a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a good doctor to help somebody get off of those medications. The rehab was ordered as part of Lohan's sentence for a probation violation for a pair of DUI arrests in 2007. She's expected to foot the bill for treatment, ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. If she violates any rules, Judge Marsha Ravel could send her back to jail. I respect her work. I'm taking it seriously. Since July 20th, she's been isolated in an eight by ten foot cell like this one. No phone, computer, or cigarettes. Reality TV star Alexis Nears, jailed for her role in the celebrity bling ring robberies, claims she could hear Lohan crying in the next cell. How's she doing? She's doing well. Lohan will have a strict routine, starting at 7 each morning. She had requested a 24-hour break before reporting to the facility, but the judge ruled she'd go directly to rehab. When finished, she'll undergo random drug and alcohol testing for another 12 months. Earlier, there was speculation that she might get her treatment at a luxurious seaside rehab center that offered surfing and yoga, but apparently the judge nixed that idea. Erica? Hattie Kaufman in Los Angeles this morning. Hattie, thanks.